Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell by the title, today I'm gonna to be making steak and mashed potatoes. Start with the ingredients. I have three russet potatoes, two New York strip steaks. I got two for $11. And then I also got some heavy cream, which we'll use for the mashed potatoes. So while we have the steak sitting on the side, we're going to peel our potatoes. Now this step is not necessary. If you like creamy mashed potatoes, I recommend peeling your potatoes first. If you like a more textured style mashed potatoes, then you can leave the skin on. Once you have peeled all of your potatoes, you want to chop them into cubes, making sure they're all roughly around the same size. That way when you boil your potatoes, they are all being cooked at the same time. While your potatoes are boiling, at this point it's been about 15 minutes, so your steaks are now at room temperature. You want to pat them dry. Then you want to season them with salt and pepper on both sides. Any remaining seasoning that's on your cutting board, you want to make sure to get the edges. We want flavor in every bite. Next, you want to add a little bit of oil in your pan. If you have a cast iron skillet, that would be best. You want to let the oil heat up for about five minutes because we want a nice golden brown crisp. I like my steaks medium well, so I'm going to let it sit for about five to seven minutes, and this can vary depending on the size of your steak. After about five to six minutes, you wanna go ahead and flip it on the other side. So while you have your steak cooking on the skillet, you can go ahead and check on your mashed potatoes. So once you can stick your fork all the way through the potato, that's when it's ready to be drained. We are gonna take one cup of heavy cream. You want to get your smasher. You want to add the one cup of heavy cream. Then you want to add half a stick of melted butter. Then you want to add salt, pepper, and garlic powder for taste. And if you like 
loaded mashed potatoes, this would be a great time to add your cheese. If you want your potatoes a little bit more creamier, you can always add more heavy cream and more butter. Now it's time for the second steak. What we did for the first steak, you wanna do for the second. Five to seven minutes for a medium well. Flip it for another five to seven minutes and then make sure you get those edges as well. And just for extra flavor, I like to add some of the Kerrygold Irish garlic butter on top of my steak. And also just a very tad bit on the top of the mashed potatoes. Uh, this garlic butter is very garlicky, so you don't want to use too much. Just a little bit goes a long way. And there we have it, steak and mashed potatoes. I hope you guys enjoyed my recipe. Um, I am not a chef. This is just what I cook for me and my family. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.